Good evening, loves. This is Ronnie Lee, the Naked Medium, and I am here for our weekly oracle reading for the week of September the 2nd through September the 8th. And this reading's topic is going to be career, okay? So again, I may not be able to speak to all of you, but as I do the um, cards, if you have been watching previous videos, when I get feelings or insight from spirit, I will add that message to the card reading. For those of you that are listening and um, as we have seen it happening, you'll, you'll get your message, okay? But again, I can't reach everyone, but I am open for spirit to communicate and to translate, you know, um, send forth these messages for you. So I ask that Heavenly Father, Mother God, the angels, the ancestors, and the guides, our loved ones, will use this opportunity to have you connected and drawn to the message that is for you. I open up this space for all high vibrational beings to help assist us with delivering these messages. All of this is in love and light. And I hope that you are blessed with the messages that come forth. And right now I send thanks and gratitude to the spirit world for taking this time out to communicate with us and help to guide us on our journey. Ashe. So again, this is um, for September 2nd and September 8th, and this topic is career. All right, loves. Um, while I am doing this, I would like to ask all of you to say a quick prayer for um, our loved ones, known and unknown, friends, family, known and unknown in the Bahamas, because right now they are being hit by this hurricane and it is devastating families. So I ask for prayer to those families. Just a moment of silence from you. Oops, whoa, did y'all see that one fly out the deck? Okay, so before I even reveal to you what this one is, because this one flew off the deck very quickly, I would like you to pick um, one, two, or three, okay? You got your numbers ready? <laughs> it's all based off of a career, but I'm going to start with, um, this is going to be the card for number one. So pick your number, one, two, or three. Don't overthink it, what comes to you. Somebody's thinking about three right now, go with it. Okay. First one is energy cleanse. That is for number one. Let's see what card is going to start off our number twos. For our number twos in the topic of career. Whoop. Okay. Number two, love. Mind you, this is for career, so we are going to, every card has a message in reference of career. Number three, what is our card to start off for number three? Oh, there we go. Whoa. Now remember guys, I use my prototype deck, so this is the deck that I made. This is my Je suis le lumière deck. It means I am the light in French. And before I did any edits for the final deck. So that's why the L is missing for money blessings. But you guys, for number three, for number three, you have money blessings. Okay. Okay. So number one, energy cleanse. Number two, we have um, love. And number three, we have our money blessings. Okay, let me see. Energy cleanse for number one. Number two, we have our love card. And number three, we have money blessings. Okay, I will also put down the timestamp once the video uploads completely and I get a moment to, I'm doing the video on my phone, so I'll put down the timestamp once it, once it uploads and then I'll get onto my PC and, um, and, you know, put everything up there. So, okay, starting with number one, um, starting with number one. 
Okay, I'm gonna move all the others out the way. Okay, so number one, I see energy cleanse. When this um, card dropped out, flew out the deck, actually, <laughs> luckily none of my cards have gotten burned up yet. When this card flew out the deck, the first thing that came to mind, to my spirit was, there needs to be some, um, mm, some cleansing, some removing, some, it almost feels like your current situation around your career is messy. If you're involved, if you're, if you have a career right now that you're involved in, it may be very overwhelming or feeling stagnant. Like, where do I go from here? Is this it? Um, whether you are loving your career or not, it feels very stagnant right now. As soon as that card dropped off, and the more that I focus on this card, it's that the message is things need to be cleared out. You need to get clear about what you want. And that energy cleanse of that career that you're currently in would look like sitting down with yourself if you already have a career, evaluating where you're at and where you want to be. Because I feel as though you're just going through the motions. You're just going to work every single day. And you may want to elevate yourself in that career, but I don't see a sound plan. It's like that plan is not, you, you can dream all you want, you can wish all you want, but there's not a detailed itemized plan of how you are going to accomplish the next goal to get to the next step. And if you are considering entrepreneurship or that is already what you're diving into, um, it, it, it still seems unclear. It's like, what is the next step for you? Have you written it down? Have you mapped it out? Because again, you can wish, you can hope, and you can dream about something, but if you're not putting action behind it and getting clear, that's what I keep wanting, the word that keeps coming to me, get clear about what it is that you want because the universe wants to support you in evolving in this career or taking that next step to be an entrepreneur, but you're not clear about it. You haven't written it down in pencil on paper. You know, sometimes we have to take that extra step. We have to bring the magic by writing it down, get it out of your head and write it down. Once you write it down, you get to see very clearly the things that you have to do. If it is starting a business, then it's what kind of business? What is my target audience? How much money do I need to bring up front? Or what's the first thing that I need to do? What are the next three goals I need to work on in the next three months to get closer to this? Hoping and wishing you're going to be right where you're at right now. You have to actually get a plan together. Once you have that plan together, that in itself will start clearing away the debris in your mind of, oh, I'm thinking about this. Oh, I'm thinking about that. Or even if you're in a career, oh, I would like to do this. I would like to get in touch with that person. I'd like to work at this level. All that is debris because it's not put down on paper and there's no clear plan of getting it done. So you're causing more angst with having it all swarming in your head. So clear that space out by writing down and getting a plan going, okay? Um, let me, keep going for my number ones. Again, I will put the timestamp down once it uploads. So, ooh, this flew out. This landed right on me. Travel. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. This is so beautiful for my number ones. And I'm getting an itchy hand. I feel like it doesn't want me to stop. So, let me... I'm just going to have to put all this together because the card is calling for me to, um, they're calling for me to keep shuffle. Ooh. Ah, see that? You had two that dropped out, this and this. So they were right on top of each other. So here we go. My hands feel calm. So I'm supposed to read off of these. Okay. So here we go with getting that plan down on paper, okay? Clean all the debris that's out the way. Um, also, I wanna say, cause this just popped up. If you are currently an entrepreneur, this just popped up, I'm speaking to somebody. Um, cleanse that, what you got going on might be too much. You need to go and revamp a little bit, clear some things out. You got a lot of excess things going on, okay? Um, your next card, travel. This is beautiful for those of you, I feel a sneeze coming on. <coughs> okay, I think it's the incense. 
bless me. <laughs> so I'm um, traveling. I when I focus on this card, what the energy is telling me is get out of your bubble. It's not even so much like this could literally be I need you to travel because there's more opportunities out there. And if that is what you've been feeling recently, then this is your validation. But this is also for those of you that have yourself in this bubble. Even in your career or thinking about being an entrepreneur, you've kind of created this little safe zone for you because your fear of getting yourself out there and being more visible to others, that is not going to give you what you, and what you want. The long-term goal of success, stability, and I even see a, a sense of simplicity with you. You may not even be looking for all the glitz and glamour, but that stability is important for you. And having that simple life, but being able to afford that and doing things that you love. If that is what you desire, you got to step outside of your bubble. Understand that the universe is waiting for you to pop that bubble a little bit so that all the blessings that are waiting for you can actually come to you. It's being held back because you're holding yourself back. So the more fearful you are of getting out of that space and not going outside that bubble, what you're doing is you're restricting the blessings that are, are trying to come into your life. You're saying, I'm too fearful of all that you want to give me. So I'm going to stay here and settle on what I'm being given and complain about it because I know that it's not enough. And I know that I could achieve more. This is a call to get out of that safe zone. And here we go with the next card, taking accountability. This is your life, honey. This is nobody else's responsibility to do this. You see why I have this mirror on this card? Because it's time for you to look in the mirror and stop pointing the finger at other people and your situation. Because I am I just got loud, but my money, my money's not right. I started my business on welfare, you guys. I started my business on welfare. I didn't even have any money. My business is what got me off of welfare. Listen to me. Start where you're at. I promise you, spirit will meet you where you're at. You will get the help that you need, the assistance that you need, the information that you need. And there's a ton of free information and resources out there. But you got to stop being lazy and take accountability for the fact that you're not reaching past that comfort zone in order to get what you want. You know, people always ask me all these questions. Well, how can I do this? How can I do that? How do you think I did it? I got on Google. I bought books. I researched. When I didn't have money, I took free online courses. You know how those courses kind of get you like, oh, take this, this few day course for free. And then later they try to get you to buy into like the $3,000 course. I took a bunch of three and four and five day courses and I put all the information together and I was serious and passionate enough about it that I created my own thing. Take accountability. I had to do the same thing. Stop pointing the finger. Stop looking at your situation because your situation is not going to change until you change. At some point, you got to have faith and just jump. That is your validation. I'm speaking to somebody. So oh, I can feel it in my spine. I can feel the energy going through my spine. The next card for you is authenticity. Who are you trying to be like? Let me tell you something. Half the people that are out here online lack this right here. They lack authenticity. They are looking around to see who they can be like, who they can speak like, who they can perform like. They are looking around seeking attention from others to fulfill their own purpose. This is lacking in today's culture, okay? What I love about the young kids coming up today is they are so, they dare to be different. They will jump in there and do the most creative stuff that nobody has ever done before. They dare to be different. You are authentic. What you do is perfect for who you are and for your purpose. You might think you're boring, but there's a, there's like millions more people that feel that they are boring and that's why they'll connect with you. You might think you speak weird or like you, you might have a speech impediment. There may be something that you're worried about. You may be worried about your smile or your appearance. There are millions of people that would connect with who you are. Understand that your energy has already been set to attract your tribe. Your tribe, 
The people that will help you, the people that will follow you are waiting for you because it's your authenticity that they are already wired to be attracted to. The reason why they are not there right now is because you aren't there. So the moment you show up being truly true to who you are, your tribe will come following. I promise you that much. Trying to be like someone else, trying to build up your business like someone else, trying to have the career that someone else has or walk the same walk that they walked is not going to make you get seen. It is not going to help you evolve in the world. People want authenticity. They want the quirky little things that you have that nobody has. They want this story of hardship that you have that nobody has. Nobody cares about the, the picture perfect. The people that fall for the picture perfect illusion are not the people you want in your tribe. You want real people, which means you have to be real. Stop comparing yourself to other people. Your career is waiting for you. That position is waiting for you, for you. You got to be you though. You're trying to be like someone else and lead your business like someone else and start your business like someone else. And what's happening is the universe is like, I made you unique. Your creator made you unique because that was the very thing that was needed. Why are you trying to be over in the left lane when I made you exactly the way that you're supposed to be to fulfill this position? So if you're acting or trying to create your business like someone else, you're making yourself unqualified for the position. And if you don't know who you are, then you need to be spending time by yourself in order to gain that knowledge because that's what the world's looking for. Okay, my number ones, authenticity, take accountability, travel, get um, energy cleanse. Okay, my number twos, my number twos, starting with love. Where is the love? Where is the passion? Why are you involved in something that you are not passionate about? Is this just to pay the bills? Fine. Keep it so you can pay the bills while on the side, you are working on your side hustle. And I, that's the energy that's pulling at me. It, it, this feels more as I want to create my own. I want to go on a path where I love what I do. I wake up and I actually am looking forward to doing what I do. And it's going to create, you know, a stream of income for me. It's going to bring in more opportunities that is the energy that's jumping out at me right here. Um, so again, why are you involved in something that you're not 100% passionate about? I'm like literally asking you and I want you to answer this question to yourself out loud. What are you doing? Who wants to be stressed out? <laughs> doing something that, you know, everybody has a dream and... You know, even if it's starting your own business and hiring employees, those employees have, you know, some people just work best like that. But some people have the idea and they've been born with that, that inner feeling that I, I want to create my own business. I want to do something that I love and that I'm passionate about. Why do you feel that you can't do that? Where you're going wrong is being on the lane and in the lane towards something that you have no emotion, no good high vibrating emotion towards. The more that you keep following the path that you're not passionate towards, that you don't feel right being in, the lower your vibration is going to keep going. I mean, the things that you want to manifest are on a high frequency because they're good things for your soul. But if you're waking up every day doing something that you dread and something that you hate, what makes you think that you're going to get to the place of your manifestations in that, in that energy space? The issue is doing something that you don't love. And the crazy thing is there's a lot of people that and I'm getting this with my number twos that are doing things that seem to be right, but they think that the things that they actually love, like they really don't think about the things that they love. Like somebody may, for example, love doing hair on the side and that's just what they do. And they never think about to make money or painting pictures or creating something. And they never really look at it to make money because it's kind of just a hobby. You can turn that hobby into a stream of income. There is always somebody out there that connects with that, be it you're creating something for someone or teaching someone else how to do it. But if you want to find the thing, you have to be somewhere where you love doing the thing. So if you're like, you know what, Ronnie, I really don't know what I love right now. Then why are you sitting around not exploring that possibility? Why are you not joining a new class? 
Why are you not going to different exhibits and shows and expanding your reach and your mind to find the very things that you love? Maybe you haven't touched it yet, but sitting around and doing nothing or looking at the same things over and over again is not going to connect you to the thing that you love. Get out there. I, I feel like I want to push you off the couch. Oh, mm, look what fell out for you. Karmic lessons. So here you are in this lifetime trying to achieve something that you weren't able to achieve in the last lifetime, maybe because of fear. Maybe because you felt that I had to be doing what I'm doing because that's just what's right. Or, you know, I didn't want to step out and do the very thing that I loved in my business or creating my own business because I was worried about what people thought. I was worried if it was going to work or not. So let me tell you what you're going to do. You're going to continue to worry. And you seem to be passing that down from lifetime to lifetime. So sitting around not doing what you love has happened before. So if I am right by this, then in this lifetime, you should have a lot of anxiety around your career and finding your purpose. I almost see you as constantly, what's my purpose? What should I do? Oh, I hate this job or, oh, I'm here, but this is, it's okay, but this isn't really where I want to be. And I know there's something inside of me that wants to jump and take that leap. And you got a lot of anxiety around it. Like I keep seeing this person that's sitting at the desk, tapping their nails, biting their nails, tapping their foot online, looking at other people's businesses, um, kind of living through other people's visuals. Like I can see you kind of on Instagram, like, I wish I had this life. I wish I did this. I wish I did that. But instead, you're putting hours towards something that you don't love. And here you are again in another lifetime. And like I said, this rush you'll feel because that anxiety is your spirit trying to say, go, 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 go. We've been here before. I'm tired of this shit. I'm tired of this. Lifetime after lifetime, we've been doing the same shit. Giving, 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 following, 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 and not creating our own, knowing that we've been called to create our own. What are we doing here? We've done this before. Don't you want to finally reach that goal? Take a cue from my number ones and make a plan. Creating your own is all about taking a leap of faith. And if you don't have it in you, then pack the dream away. But if you really want it, every day you better pray for faith. Every day you better take one step closer to this dream because life is short. You don't know how long you're going to be here. You want to finish it off doing what you're doing right now? Or do you want to chase that dream? And not even chase that dream. Do you want to capture that dream? That's what it's about, capturing. Come on, number two. This too shall pass. So here you have some hope. Here you have some hope, okay? Need to do be doing what you love. Sitting here in another lifetime, trying to learn this lesson, to, um, to pass this lesson. This too shall pass. This is hope for you. This card is saying you're about to take a leap. You're about to take a leap. So all that anxiety that you got, all that sorrow, you can see my ring light, <laughs> all that sorrow, all that dread, this is about to pass because you, my love, know that I've been doing this over and over again and this is enough. Because let me tell you something, what if, and I've spoken to enough spirits to know that when they don't accomplish something in this lifetime, they carry it over to the next. Even in my own personal life, um, my ex wanted to build a business and right before he passed away, the week that he passed away, his whole life he wanted to do this, but it was the week before he passed away that he actually stepped out of fear and tried to take a leap of faith. But he waited so long and too long and he passed away writing out his plan. And I'm glad he did that because now I have my kids. I'm glad he wrote it out because now I can give that to my kids. But the first dream that I got from him he said, oh, I forgot to do that. That's okay, I'll just do it next time. What if that very thing that you've been wanting to do, that you're not taking that leap of faith to do, you have to return another lifetime just to do it. That's what this is. Why would you, why would you put that on hold? 
This life is a big dream. You're in it, just like in a dream. When you go to sleep and you dream, do you sit there and be like, oh, I don't want to do that because I'm scared? No, you do it because you know you're going to wake the hell up at some point. This is about to pass because you're about to have a leap of faith and you're about to jump. I think the message that I just gave you is enough to even add to that anxiety that you had in order to take a leap and go for it. Come on, number two. What happens when we take that leap? in you're about to take that leap and what's going to happen you're going to find your lane you're going to find your purpose you're going to find your zen you're going to find that very thing that you've been searching for and it's not going to happen until you take that leap so that all of this worry all of this anxiety and all of these things that you didn't do in the past lifetime can finally be put behind you. Once you take that leap, this is your confirmation that you are going to land right in the area of your purpose. That career that you want, that business you want to start, you got to jump. That's what this is telling you. For my number twos, you have to jump. You got to swim. You got to get yourself out there because the universe is waiting for you. Everything that you want is right there. You're the only one that's holding it up. That's it. That's it for my number twos. That is it. That is it. Honey, for my number threes. Woo! First thing that jumped out at me is there's a lot of people that um, this, I want to say in careers too, but I feel like um, even in business, sorry, it's one thing about these black cards. You can see my fingerprints. Um, even in business, you're about to, it feels like you're doing some shaking and moving and this is happening there. You're revamping something. You're doing something differently. You're about to take a step. And this is the result of that. I also get the feeling that those of you that are looking to start something are about to be given exactly what you need in order to bring this to light. This is also a very good, um, this card fell out and I, I, I started to put it back, but spirit was like, no, Ronnie, uh, uh, drop the card and let me speak on it. So there is a blessing coming, a financial blessing and not just financial, but an opportunity. Okay. There's an opportunity coming your way that is going to bring forth prosperity in regards of your career. Maybe this is, I'm finally going to get that promotion or I'm finally going to get the grant or my business is finally going to take a turn and bring forth the money that I've been waiting and praying and trying to manifest. But this blessing is here. It's not just on its way, it's here. So this week, I want you to move and make moves like you know this is here. This card reading is for the energy of this week. So what you guys get in these messages, I want you to go hard on pl putting these messages out into play this week. You know this is coming. So this week, what are you going to do? I also feel that somebody needs to take a jump here and it's kind of like, oh, but is the money going to be there if I do it? This is your validation. It's coming in the form of a man. Someone is going that you're going to speak to or that you're going to connect with is going to bring forth an opportunity for you to grow. There is a man that is involved in business or in your career that um, has a, he, he's kind of higher up. This could be someone that um, is a part of an organization um, or may own his own business or is like a, I, I almost want to say if you're in a career, this is like not just your supervisor, this is the person past them that you should be reaching out to, but there, your opportunity is coming in the form of a man that you are going to connect with. This, you may already, for those of you um, in the business, like entrepreneur, I, I feel like you already know this man. I feel like you just met this man. I, I feel like I'm rubbing elbows with somebody, okay? 
that's going to bring forth an opportunity for you. My number threes have been doing the work. <laughs> well, you had two, so I'm not even going to put this back. Look at that. The journey. <laughs> the Wow, shut up. How, why did I just have deja vu? These three cards came out at me last month in regards to making a business move. Shut up. It was these three cards. I'm having deja vu. So spirit is speaking to you, but spirit is also speaking to me. And now I know what man this is. Shut up. I know what man this is. Honey, we about to get blessed because of this connection that we made that is bringing forth an opportunity. And we, my loves, my number threes, and myself included, because this deja vu, are about to embark on a journey that is taking us where we are at to where we wanna be. Do you understand this? Do you understand this person that you just met and his connections is, is helping you to bring forth the prosperity that you have been praying for and manifesting? And it's going to take you on a journey. You are leaving this chapter of your life financially um, and in business. This is it. Say goodbye to this chapter because you're about to embark on something that you've been waiting for for a very long time. And here you are. Focus your attention on the ultimate goal. Focus your attention on this next level. Okay. Because you not only have this in business, but there's something wrapped up in home with this as well. Focus your attention. Now is where you make the sacrifice. Now is where you take that leap and you say, this other stuff is pulling at my energy and my time. But this is what I really want and it's finally here. So I need to focus all my attention on it because it's either going to be A or B. Go for what you want. You have a distraction that's in the way. Focus your attention on what you really want. Um, I remember Will Smith saying something like, I don't have a plan B because if I do, it takes my attention, my focus away from my plan A. I'm going for my plan A. I'm speaking to somebody right here. You might have two jobs, but this business that you're building, this is it for you, baby. So you need to look at that other job and say, this is the leap of faith that I have been needing to, that, that's coming at me because this is what I need to do. This is what I've been needing to take, this opportunity. I'm speaking to somebody. Somebody has another job. Somebody has a, or like a, do I go to school or do I take this leap? Honey, this is your, I, I know I'm speaking to somebody. This card is validating to you. It's time to focus because I'm about to, I feel like the creator's like, I'm about to bring you what you've been asking for, but now you got another distraction. And that distraction can take you back down the path that you just came from, or you can take this leap of faith and get your blessing, honey. Oh, I am so excited about this for my number threes. But I, I can even feel the anxiety because I know where you're at. I know, I know where you're at. Look at that. This is the card that fell out for you. Simplicity. Look at that peace. Look at that peace. Look at that light. Look at all that purple. Connecting to the crown chakra. Being inspired. Connected to source. Connected to your purpose. Because simplicity is what you want, right? You want to be able to create that foundation and have that financial income, but you want to be at peace. And this this path, this journey that you're about to embark on, that this person is helping to um, open up a door of opportunity for you, is going to bring you exactly that. I'm done. I'm done. Because I feel like I don't even need to speak no more on this. Because I feel like these messages right here today are so clear. I don't have to say nothing else. I'm not even going to muddy it. Spirit has spoken loud and clear today. So I need everybody to take accountability for the message that you just received in regards to your career and following your purpose. For my number threes, this is it, baby. This is it. You either take this leap and you get that blessing or you allow your distraction to fill up your time and pull you away from your purpose. And then you got to wait for another door of opportunity, which could be five or 10 years from now, from now to get right here. I can't make this up. I'm speaking to many people 
I know I'm speaking to someone and I know that what I just threw down is everything that has been going through your mind, especially lately. You're, you're, you're right in front of the door of opportunity. You're presented with something and you've been trying to wrap your mind around what should I do? Should I do it? Should I, should I not? If I take this leap, that's a big thing, but I got this security over here. So should I take the leap and go for it? Take the leap and go for it because the universe has showed you through this opportunity, what's going to happen to your life. Here is everything that you've been praying for. So now the test is, am I going to go for the false sense of security that my society has given me or that this other job has given me? Or am I going to go and follow my purpose? The very thing that I was created to do. Boom. Plan B is going to keep you in the rat race. Plan A is going to set you free. All right, loves, I will see you tomorrow on Instagram for Makeover Monday, for Tarot Tuesday, for Wisdom Wednesday, and for another Fan Friday where I will not only continue the questions from this recent Fan Friday, but also add to the new ones, bring forth the new ones to answer. Um, and the last one, I took, the, I took a road trip. I don't know how the upload went as far as, you know, the service heading through the mountains. But if you checked out my Instagram story, you were able to see the beautiful waterfalls, the river, the trees, the mountains. It was absolutely beautiful. So um, thank you for being on that road trip with me. And um, please um, check out Kelly, Kelly Farm Kitchen, K-E-L-L-E-Y Farm Kitchen on Instagram. This woman and her husband are light workers. And the universe told them to open up this restaurant. They listened to every message that spirit gave them. And they have been helping people with this vegan, a 100% vegan restaurant that blows my mind. I have been there twice and my family is going back next week. Um, I've drove past, I've drove through Maryland, Virginia and West Virginia just to get there. And I went back the next day. That's how amazing it is. So please show them some love. I always want to shout out my light workers. I'm not getting nothing for it. Please show them some love because if you see all my business people we did this reading for, when you start your business and you let me know, hey, Ronnie, I have this page. Can you please follow it? Ronnie, um, I need help with this. I'm going to have your back. So I'm asking you to have the back of other light workers and please let them know that Ronnie Lee sent you, okay? Please let them know so they know because I'm always there, right? <laughs> let them know, hey, Ronnie sent me. Um, but again, it's Kelly Farm Kitchen on Instagram, and they're located in um, Harper's Ferry, West Virginia, K-E-L-L-E-Y Farm Kitchen. Um, so that is my shout out to those light workers today. For all you other light workers, I see what you're doing. And if I don't, let me know. Hit me up on Instagram. Let me know what you're doing. You follow my channel, please, because I believe it is up to us to support us, follow us, and encourage us, okay? We are up a lot of uh, up against a lot of darkness in our world. So if the light is not going to help the light spread and support and love the light, then who do we have? Because we're waking up in darkness and our light is shining. We have to be there for each other. I love you guys. I will see you for another weekly oracle reading next Sunday. Peace and blessings to all of you.